welcome to our latest lockdown yoga class. So tonight's class is going to be a little bit of a flow, but I've, ha I've had a request basically. So it's going to be a lot based into the hips, uh, the hamstrings, and the IT bands, these little puppies that run down the outside of the leg. So we're going to do a little sequence that basically all the time, whatever we're doing, we're kind of focusing on them hips and rolling the hips open or opening the flexors front, back and sides. But also we're, we're going to bring it into the rest of the practice so we get a full practice on it. But knowing that there's going to be a period there that we're going to be really focused in onto, onto the hips and uh, the hamstrings and the IT bands. Okay, and also the hip flexes on the inside. So we're working the whole of the hips, the hamstrings and the IT bands. Okay, so remember, if you've been using your yoga block and your yoga belt during the previous classes, remember, you'll know where you need them now. But again, I'll kind of cue you as we go along where you could need them, where they would be of help. But basically, remember, listen to your body. And if you're getting sharp pain or anything like that, I mean, it's a surefire sign to say, come out of it, rest. So there's absolutely no need to push in any of these postures, any of these asanas that we do today, because they're just the natural movement of them. They'll be opening up just naturally by doing the movement. So you don't have to force it. You'll be very aware of, uh, of all of the opening up that's happening. But apart from that, you know, stay safe. Let's start at the front of the mat. Bring your feet together, lift your toes, spread your toes out nice and wide, try and get air between every toe. And then take a little squeeze of the mat with your toes. And then stand up nice and tall. Give the shoulders a little roll out, the arms a shake, relax the tummy. Start to inhale and exhale, in and out through the nose. We always start the class with this where we focus in, centre ourselves into our present moment. Do this with the breath, the eyes closed. Take a big inhale, fill yourself all the way up, fill the belly up, fill the chest up. And a big sigh on the exhale, let the shoulders relax down the back, let the arms relax, let all the tension leave the body. Again, inhale fully. And exhale. Return into just normal breath now. Bring your focus down to the soles of the feet. So keeping the eyes closed, bring your awareness down to the mat. So don't roll in or out, forwards or backwards. Feel the whole of the sole of the foot planted into the floor. The tip of every toe touching the floor. This is pad band. So this is a lock in itself. And then from there we're going to lift energy up. So we lift up by lifting the thigh muscles, lifting the pelvic floor, drawing the belly button in and up, and just gently tipping the tailbone down slightly. So we keep that length in the spine, the Shishuna Nadi, that lifting up through the crown of the head, chin is level with the floor, and the breath is in the chest now. So start to deepen the breath. Keeping the tummy drawn in so the breath goes into the chest. Keep them nice big breaths going and feel how as you deepen the breath you calm the system down, you calm the body down, you calm the mind down. You can feel tension leave the body on the exhale. So keep that nice big breath into the chest, tummy is in, pelvic floor lifted.
and inhale, open the eyes, make a big circle with the arm, salute the sun, reach up, and then exhale, soften the knees, fall forward, tummy in, lay the chest down onto the thighs, let the head hang, and let the arms hang. Shake the head out, yes and no. Maybe see if you can sit down a little deeper. But all the time the belly is drawn in, so you're breathing up and into the back. Bring the hands to the floor and straighten the right leg and lift up to a flat back. So left leg is bent, right leg is straight. Inhale, lift and exhale, fold over that leg. Try and bring the hands alongside the feet or if you need to, take a hold of your yoga block. You can have it on its side or flat. For all the time, this right leg is straight, left leg is bent and you're just gonna move your weight over into that right leg and drive your weight down through the heel and let yourself fold over that leg. Head is relaxed, arms are relaxed. And then bend the right knee, come back to that first spot, tummy is in, both knees are bent, head is relaxed, shake the head out, yes and no. Bring the hands to the floor and then straighten the left leg, keep the right leg bent, shift the weight over onto that left hand side and drive the weight straight down through the leg, straight into the heel. And then exhale, see if you can fold over that leg and bring your hands alongside your feet. Bend the knees, exhale, let the head hang, let the arms hang. Bring the hands to the floor, straighten the right leg. Move the weight over into the right hand side of the mat and then let your weight come forward so you move the weight into the balls of the feet or into the toes. Again, you're driving down through this but you're shifting your weight forward. You'll feel that come right up through the calf, through the back of the knee, the hamstring and even into this side of the hip here, you'll feel it. If you feel any cramps, you can put your thumb in there make some circles and then back to your starting point and then straighten the left leg shift the weight over to the left fold over that left leg and then support yourself with your hands and move your weight forward but again you're still pushing the weight down you're just shifting your weight forward so the weight goes into the front of the foot and it opens up the whole back of the leg up through the hamstring through the glute Inhale, straighten both legs, lift up to a flat back, <coughs> and exhale, fall bend. So keep the tummy in so it gives you space to fall forward. And I always think your head is moving down towards the floor. It's never rolling in like this unless instructed to. But generally, you're tipping the tailbone up, pushing the heels down, tummy is in, so you create this space hold in if you can, bring your hands palm up alongside the feet and then push the back of the knees back towards the back of the mat, turn the tailbone up to the sky, let the head just hang, if you want you can move the weight forward a little into the balls of the feet and feel how that kicks in the core because you have that little balance, big breath. And then soften the knees and inhale, roll up through the spine, open the arms, reach up and exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. Inhale, reach up, salute the sun. Exhale, swallow dive forward, tummy in. Inhale, lift to a flat back and raise the right leg up behind. So instead of rolling the hip out to the side, just lift straight up through the heel and lift up. So we're engaging the glute and the muscle in the back. But also, this is having to open here at the front. 
So keep it lifted and then exhale, fold over that front leg. And all the time you're trying to lift that back heel. Your standing leg is straight, you're pushing down through the heel, down to the head, down towards the floor, and then step the feet together. Lift up to a flat back, inhale, exhale, fold back. Shift the weight over into the right foot, and inhale, raise the left leg. So don't roll the hip open, lift straight up through the heel, lift up to a flat back, and really lift up. Engage the glute, the hamstring, the lower back, and exhale, see if you can fold over that front leg. Keep trying to lift the back leg high, as high as you can. Strong breath. And then step the feet together, lift to a flat back, inhale. <sighs> exhale, forward there. Bend the knees, inhale, roll up through the spine, salute the throat. Exhale the hands to the heart space. Inhale. Exhale, swallow dive forward, tummy in. Inhale, lift to a flat back, raise the right leg up behind. Bend the front knee, step back into a low lunge and drop the back knee down to the floor. So hands are on the floor, walk that front foot forward. So you always want this ankle slightly ahead of the knee, so even when you move forward, it stays slightly behind. But this is really where we're working into here, and the glute and the hip on the left hand side. So once you've found yourself here, you've got yourself nice and stable, walk that back leg back a little bit. So just that movement alone, you'll start to feel this front of the hip really open and also this back hip here is really activated through the glute area. So just holding that and then try and shift your weight forward and lift your chest and look up. So the movement forward and the lifting up again lengthens this front body working into the front of the hip and it also fires up this back hip here. So again you're thinking about keeping your hips square, lifting your chest and moving your hips forward. So keep it active, don't just sort of go there and move into it, lift the chest, shoulders are down, reach down through the fingers. All the time I'm trying to gently move this hip forward. I never want to be in the position where I feel like this is let go. I want to keep it active, keep that stretch, nice big breaths. And then bring the hands up onto the knee and lift the chest. Exhale, relax the hips. Inhale, lift the head, lift up. Inhale, bring the chin level with the floor. Open the palms to the side. And inhale, reach up, bring the hands into fire hands. And as you exhale, relax the hips and bring your hands up and over the head. So again, you feel this lovely big arch all the way through here. This left leg is really active. And bring the hands to the heart space. So while we're here, we'll have a little prayer twist. Shoulders are down the back, inhale, tummy in. Exhale, turn to the left. Tip the shoulders, bring that right elbow down onto the knee. And then turn and look over the left shoulder. Shoulders are moving down the back. Big breaths. Inhale to the center. Exhale forward. Well done. So walk the hands back. Straighten the front leg. So we shift the emphasis down into the hamstring. So the toes want to be drawing back all the time because the calf opening is helping the hamstring open the hamstring helps the glute open so lift to a flat back again if you need your block or your belt lift up and exhale the head is moving forward tummy in exhale
So again, keep the hips square so you're going straight up through the hamstring, through the glute, draw the toes back. You can bring the left hand forward or pop your yoga belt over your foot and draw that foot back so you feel the Achilles, the calf, the back of the knee open. But keep that breath all the time. As you exhale, you might be able to just relax a little bit further. Inhale, come forward. Lift the back knee and step the feet together. Lift up to a flat back. Inhale, tummy in, shoulders back. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, raise straight up through the heel at the back. Lift. And then exhale, step back. Low lunge. So again, walk the front foot forward a little. Support yourself with your hands and then walk that back leg back and then move the hips forward so you feel everything become active. That left hip flexor, the glute on this side. Support yourself with your hands but you're moving forward all the time. Lifting the chest, looking up. Be able to walk that back foot back a little bit after you've been there for a couple of breaths. But we'll keep the breath, keep that moving forward. And then bring the hands up onto the knee, lift the chest, move the hips forward. Strong breath. And then opening the arms. Inhale, reach up. Fire hand. As you exhale, relax the hips forward and let the hands come up and over the head. Keep reaching through the fingers, strong breath, hips are moving forward. Well done, exhale, bring your hands to the heart space. Exhale, turn all the way around to the right. Tip the shoulders and the elbow, bring that left elbow onto the knee. Draw the thumbs into the sternum, shoulders down the back. Look up over that right shoulder. Hips can move forward. Well done, inhale to the centre, exhale forward and walk the hands back until you can straighten the front leg. So again, if you need your block, take a hold of your block, lift up to a flat back, exhale, fold over that front leg. You can walk the hands forward. Then keeping the hips square, drawing them right toes back with either the belt or your hand. So you open up the Achilles, the calf, the back of the knee and all the way up through that hamstring. Well done, inhale, lift the head. Bend the front knee, bring the foot to the floor. Lift the back knee off the floor. Step the feet together, lift your flat back, inhale, tummy in, and exhale, forward bend. Inhale, come all the way up, reach up, salute the sun, and exhale, the hands to the heart space. Inhale, reach up, salute the sun, exhale, swallow dive forward, tummy in, step your feet hip distance apart, bend the knees, and open your knees a little bit wider than your torso, Reach between the toes with the first two fingers and bring your elbows onto the knees. Lift up to a flat back, tummy in, inhale. Exhale with the knees bent, let the torso go between the legs and then the crown of the head down towards the floor. And then on an inhale, see if you can straighten the legs. Inhale, lift to a flat back. 
release the toes, exhale forward bend, bring the hands flat onto the floor and try and bring your face as much as you can between your knees. Soften the knees, inhale, come all the way up, reach up, salute the sun, exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up, salute the sun, exhale, swallow dive forward, tummy in, lift to a flat back, and then you're going to take your right foot, bring it around the back of your left foot so your feet are alongside each other, like this. Lift up to a flat back, tummy in, and exhale, fold over that leg so you'll feel how we move into the IT bands here. Lift a little, inhale, exhale, fold. Try and walk your hands back. Inhale, lift up to a flat back. Step the feet together, lift to a flat back, inhale, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift to a flat back, and then take the left foot and bring it around the back of the right foot. Try and bring your feet together, lift up to a flat back, tummy in, straight legs, exhale, forward bend. Remember the head is moving down, tummy's in, 3H base, you can walk the hands back. Inhale, lift to a flat back, step the feet together, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, raise the right leg. This time, roll the hip open to the side, lift up to a flat back, and exhale, fold over that front leg, and lift the hip open from the side this time. So we're activating these muscles here in the side of the hip and the top of the glute and see if you can fold over that front leg. Bend the front knee, step back into a high lunge, turn the back foot square to the back of the mat, and bring the left hand to the inside of that foot. So you kind of want this arm to run up the inside of your leg and your shoulder is against the knee. And then as you move this hip forward, let this right shoulder roll open so you get this nice flat line and then inhale raise the arm reach up turn the palm to face the front extend the arm over the head and then raise the arm and come up and into a warrior straighten the front leg exhale reach forward Inhale, open the arms wide, trikonasana triangle. So again, hip is moving forward, chest is open. You'll feel it through the hamstring, into the abductor. If you want to take it a little deeper, you can lift the foot up onto the heel. And then raise the arm, bend the front knee, come back to your warrior, and exhale, cartwheel the hands forward. And then step back into your first plank of the day, push into the floor, tummy in, big breaths. Exhale all the way down to the floor, elbows in, inhale cobra, so shoulders back. Now you can lift like this or you can move the hips forward and draw the chest up and sink the hips down so you feel that opening up in the front of the hips as well as that lovely back bend and then exhale come down roll over the toes downward facing dog walk the heels up and down shake the head out yes and no And then push both heels down to the floor, 
And as you do that, push your knees back towards the back of the mat and then tip your tail up into the air and push into your hands. So you will feel that from the heels of the feet right the way through the Achilles, the calves, the hamstrings, into the hips. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, step, walk or jump your feet forward. Lift up to a flat back. Tummy in, inhale. Ah, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, raise the left leg up behind. Roll the hip open this time. Lift up to a flat back. Point the toes and exhale. Fold over the front leg, but lift up through the back heel. Bend the front knee, step back. Turn the back toes square and bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot. So again, as you move this hip forward, let the chest roll open and engage the whole of the back of the arm into the back into the side of the leg so roll the chest open inhale reach up so if you move that hip forward you'll feel it open in the front of the hip turn the palm to face the front extend the arm over the head Inhale, come up to your warrior. Straighten the front leg. Exhale, fall forward, trikonasana triangle. Again, move the hip forward, roll the chest open, look up. And come onto the front heel. Turn the palm to face the front. Inhale, raise the arm, bend the front knee. Come back up to your warrior. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor. Step back into your press up plank. Push into the floor, lift the thighs, tummy in. Exhale to the floor. Elbows are in. Inhale, lift, so draw the shoulders down. Move the hips forward, lift the chest. Look up, stretch all the front body. And then exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Walk the heels up and down. Shake the head out, yes and no. And then push the heels down, push the knees back, turn the tailbone up, tummy in. Push into the palms, big breaths. Inhale, lift the head, exhale, step, walk or jump your feet forward, lift up to a flat back, inhale, exhale, forward, bend, and inhale, come all the way up, reach up, salute the sun, exhale, the hands to the heart, stretch. inhale, reach up, salute the sun, exhale, step your right foot back, a full leg lift. So you want a good stride between your feet, feet are turned out to the side, hands with the heart space. So pelvic floor is lifted, tummy's in. So we're really firing up the hips here. They're rolled open, so really push down through the knees, into the feet. Keep the pelvic floor lifted and the tummy in. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart space and just sink down into your goddess pose. So try not to lean forward like this. Think head is over the shoulders, over the hips. Pushing down through the shins, into the feet. Big breaths into the heart space. Exhale, see if you can sink a little deeper. So remember, don't lean forward. Keep the integrity of the spine, that long Shishuna Nadi, that main energy channel through the body. Tummy is in, pelvic floor is lifted. Strong Ujjayi breath. Bring 
bring the hands down and onto the knees and then push into the knees, fall forward, inhale, exhale, drop the left shoulder, push that left knee away, turn, look up over the right shoulder. Inhale to the centre, exhale, push the right knee away, roll that right shoulder down, look over the left shoulder. Inhale to the centre, bring the hands down to the floor, lift the head and step the feet so they're square onto the side of the mat. Now. So you might want to move them a bit further apart, bring them a bit closer together. And remember, if you need your yoga block for this, it can be however you need it. So remember, listen to them hamstrings and them abductors. These are not poses that you can really push because you're likely to hurt yourself. So, Nice and gentle, remember, relax on an exhale. So lift up to a flat back, tummy in, inhale. And then exhale, keeping the legs straight, just fall from the hips and let the crown of the head come down towards the floor. You might want to adjust your feet a little, find that comfortable spot. And then exhale, lower down. So we're now in the abductors on the inside, the hamstrings, the glutes are even working hard here, so nice big breath. Inhale, lift up to a flat back. So tummy in, shoulders back, inhale. Exhale, bend your left knee, move your left shoulder over and try and touch the inside of your left knee with your left shoulder. So this is going to move in stages, so whichever one suits you the best, you just stay moving between that one. So this is, and touch your left shoulder on the inside of your left knee. You're really going to have to bend this left leg to do that, and you will really feel this stretch through the inside of the hip. Inhale, lift to the center. Exhale, bend in the right knee, moving the right shoulder over and touch the inside of the right knee. So again, bend that right knee, feel this open, keep this thigh lifted. So if that was intense for you, just stay moving in between there. So the next stage would be inhale and exhale, either move the left shoulder over, and if you can, bring your hands to the inside of that left foot. Lift to a flat back, and then exhale, see if you can lower your chest squarely down towards the floor. So don't roll up onto this foot like this. Keep this foot driven into the floor, straight leg. Push down through the left foot. Well done, inhale back to the center. Lift to a flat back, exhale. Bend the right knee, move the right shoulder over, and then bring the hands to the inside of the right foot. Lift to a flat back, and exhale, lower the chest down towards the floor. Remember, keep this foot driving through the floor, thighs lifted. Good job, inhale to the centre, so that was the second level. So if you're happy with that, stay moving in between the, the first one and that one. But this is the last one, so exhale, bend the left knee, move your left shoulder over. Bring your hands to the inside of the left foot. Inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, bend the elbows, bring the chest down. If you can, keeping this right forearm on the floor, take a hold of that left foot. And then on an inhale, see if you can roll your left shoulder open. If you can roll the shoulder open, see if you can straighten that left leg. You can also do a bind here. So keep that left shoulder rolled open. And then release all the way to the center on an inhale. Well done if you manage that. Exhale, 
Bend in the right knee, move the right shoulder over, bring the hands to the inside of the foot. Lift to a flat back. Exhale, fall forward. If you can, keep the left forearm on the floor. Take a hold of that right foot. And inhale, roll the right shoulder open. If you can, try and straighten the right leg. Again, if you want to take the bind, keep that right shoulder rolling open. Well done, release. Inhale to the center. Ah, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, move the left shoulder over to the inside of the left knee and roll the right toes up. So you might have to support yourself here. If you can, see if you can lower this hamstring all the way down to the floor and bring the hands to the heart square. And inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, fold to the right. Lift the left toes and bring the hands to the heart space. See if you can lower that left hamstring down towards the floor. Remember, you know, you can move through the first couple of these that we did, just keep moving. The object is to open the hips. And inhale, back to the center. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift to a flat back, bend your right knee and bring your right knee underneath your right hip and the left foot stays out to the side uh, don't think i don't know so you feel that release as you do that maybe take a breath here enjoy that bring your left hand underneath your belly right hand on top thumbs touch close your eyes and just breathe into your tummy Open the eyes, make a big circle with the arms, bring the fingertips together and exhale, fold all the way over to the left and bring that left hand down towards the left ankle with this right hand, keep reaching over the head and feel how it opens up all the side of the hip, through the side body, through the back of the shoulder, the triceps. Inhale, come up, bring the hands to the heart space. Bend your left knee, step your right foot out to the side, left hand below the belly button, right hand on top. Relax your shoulders down the back, breathe into the palms. Inhale, open the eyes, make a big circle with the arms, bring the fingertips together above the head. Exhale, fall straight over to the right, bring that right hand down towards that right ankle, keeping this leg straight and reach over the head with that left hand. Big breath. Inhale, come all the way up, bring the hands to the heart space, bring the knees together and then bring the hands around and into the small of the back. So really support as much of the lower back as you can and then squeeze your shoulder blades together, try and draw your elbows together. You can have your toes turned under like this or you can have them flat, but then as you squeeze your shoulder blades together, tip your tailbone under and move your hips forward, lift the chest, inhale. And exhale, let the head lean back and then you can bend the knees and lean back a little more. Inhale, come up and exhale, come down into your child pose. Open your knees wide enough. 
to let your belly relax between your legs, make a pillow for your head. Inhale, come up onto a flat back. So this time we are going to turn the toes under. And this time we can intensify the back bend. <clears throat> but we kind of don't do that by leaning further back. So what I mean by that is, is we're going to start in normal. I want to tip my tailbone under, move my hips forward. My hands are at the heart space. And as I lean back a little bit, I want to bring one hand down onto my foot and then the other. So it's important not to, to twist here, come back. Take one hand back, take the other hand back, and then squeeze your shoulder blades together, turn the tailbone under, move the hips forward, and lift the head. Let the head lie back. So if you want to intensify this back bend, all you do is move your hips towards the front of the mat, keep a hold of your feet, let your head lie back, and you'll open all the front of the hips, the quadriceps, the chest, the shoulders, the throat chakra, big breaths, Inhale, lift the head, exhale, fold all the way forward and come down and onto your tummy. Take a pillow, shake your hips from side to side. And then lift in the head and then bend the knees and see if you can take one hand back, take a hold of the feet. So again, you might have to pop your yoga belt over your feet here to take a hold of the feet and then draw the knees together, draw the big toes together, squeeze your shoulder blades together. So it's really important that you breathe into the belly, big breath, exhale, inhale into the tummy and as you do that, lift the chest, push into the feet, lift the toes. And exhale, make a pillow for your head, shake the hips from side to side. And then turn the toes under, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, come all the way back, cross the feet, and come to seated. Well done. So, we worked a lot into the front and into the sides. So now, a little move into the hamstrings and the IT bends. So, remember, legs are straight, toes are back, lift the chest, shoulders are down, lift the pelvic floor, hands are at the heart space. Take a breath. Inhale, reach up, salute the sun, and exhale, fold them forward. Again, if you need to pop your belt over your feet, do so. If you can, reach your feet, inhale, lift and exhale, fold forward again, head is moving forward, tummy is in, create the space, inhale lift the head, so step the right foot to the outside of the left knee and then move that knee across the body and bring that left hand over, right hand behind. So as you draw this knee open, you'll feel the side of the hip open. Lift the chest, turn, look over your right shoulder. Coming back to the center, we're gonna take that foot out to the side. So as we lift that foot, draw it across, you'll feel it open into the IT band around the back of the hip and then inhale reach up exhale fall forward reaching for the front foot lift to a flat back exhale forward bend inhale lift 
and then we're going to step that right foot out uh, the left foot out to the right hand side and try and bring the knees on top of each other so again we're starting to move around the outside of the hips now so sit them nice and tall you can maybe just bring the weight of your arms onto that knee just to help open up Open the arm, inhale, reach up, and then exhale, reach as far forward as you can up your mat. And then as you exhale, try and bring the forearms down to the floor and relax over that front leg. Well done, inhale, come up to the bottom leg, we're going to straighten again, and then this front foot we're going to take and place into the elbow, and then again, draw that knee in. So we could have done, during some of the sequence, we could have done pigeon, again, that's a really good hip opener, but this is basically a seated pigeon. So what we didn't do in the practice, as in your traditional Pigeon is, we're doing it now, so again you'll feel that come right round the side of the hip and up. If you feel any pain in the knee, let that go. But again, try not to slouch, sit up tall, draw the knee into the chest, keep this front leg engaged. And then release that leg, bring it down and give it a little shake out. So we're going to take the left foot, bring the left foot to the inside of the thigh, let that hip open, and then inhale, reach up, exhale, fall forward, reach up to the front foot, lift, and exhale. Inhale, lifting up. So taking that left foot to the outside of the right knee, and then sit away, draw that knee across the body towards the right shoulder, bring the right arm over, draw that knee across, sit nice and tall as you push into that back end, turn and look over your left shoulder. Well, draw and release. Take that foot out to the side, stack the knees on top of each other, lift any muscles away from your sit bones, inhale, reach up, exhale, fold forward, reaching for the front foot, and again, exhale, fold over that front leg. And then coming up, bending the left leg out to the right this time, stacking the knees on top of each other and then just applying a little bit of pressure on that top knee until you can feel it in both hips. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fall forward, reach for the front of your mat, and then if you can, exhale, bring the forearms down and relax over that front leg.
inhale lift up so the bottom leg we're going to straighten out again and then the right foot uh, left foot comes into the right elbow and then that's our seated pigeon so sit up nice and tall shoulders are down draw the foot into the chest really feel that opening up in the IT band in the hip them a little shake and then turn on the side of your mat and open your legs as wide apart as you can so once you think you've got them as wide apart as you can open them up a little bit more and then bring the hands around the back onto the floor draw your shoulder blades together push into the hands lift the chest tip your tailbone under and push your chest forward Again, keeping the legs straight, toes are up. And then bring the head level with the floor and see if you can bring the hands in between the legs. Now if that makes you tip back, bring the hands back or sit up onto your yoga block. If you can, you're going to exhale and see if you can bring your forearms down to the floor. You might have to adjust your feet any, take it slow. You might want to lift any muscles up and away from your sit bones, just to let the pelvis tip a little bit more. Maybe you want to take a hold of your big toes with the first two fingers on each hand, and if you can do that, maybe you can bring your forehead down to the floor. Inhale, come up, bring your left hand around to the side, right hand out, tip your feet to the left, and inhale, roll around, lift the hips, and reach up over the head. Exhale, come down, right hand comes around behind, turn the feet to the right, inhale, open, lift, and exhale down, and then bring that right foot around and back. To your mat, bend the knees, bring the soles of the feet together, take a hold of the feet and lift up to a flat back. Shoulders are back, try and let the knees relax out to the side. So if you find your knees are really high, you can take a hold of your ankles and just gently, with your, as you lift on the feet, push away with your elbows and that will help open up. But just lifting up, letting the knees fall out to the side. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, fall forward, so you're trying to bring your toes towards your chest and not your, your face towards your toes. So inhale, lift, shoulders are back, exhale, fall forward and bring the toes towards the chest. Inhale, lift up, and then shift your sit bones back until you can bring your hands in between your legs and then underneath the legs and see if you can take a hold of your feet and then lift up to a flat back. So as you exhale this time, you're trying to bring your forehead towards the arches of your feet. So you need to lift, make space, and exhale, fall forward. Inhale, come up, release, straighten the legs, and then bring the hands underneath the knees, roll all the way back and onto your back, and straighten your legs out. Ah, well done. So bend the knees, hands down to the floor, moving into our little finishing sequence now. Push into the feet, turn the tailbone under, lift the hips high and bring the hands underneath the body in the fire hands and then try and get a little bit higher up onto your shoulders and as you push into the feet, turn the tailbone under, lift the hips high and push the hands down towards the floor. Inhale, 
and release, roll down through the spine, hug the knees into the chest, have a gentle rock from side to side. And then bring the feet back down to the floor. So establish yourself, you can do the pose that we just did, that's no problem. But if you'd like to a little upgrade, you can inhale, step into the feet and then try and come up and onto your elbows. So you're supported on your elbows, the hands are in the small of your back. And push into the feet, turn the tailbone under, lift the hips. And then release, roll down through the spine. Hug the knees into the chest. Have a little rock from side to side. And then bring your left hand to your right knee, lower your knees to the left, and the right hand come out to the side. And just have that lovely spinal twist. Release the knees back into the centre, hug them in, a rock, and then right hand to left knee, lower the knees to the right, turn the head and look to the outstretched left hand. And release the knees, bring the knees back into the center. A little rock forwards and backwards. And then open your knees for your happy baby. Take a hold of the feet. Pull down on the feet like you're trying to get your knees to touch the floor either side of the body. Roll over till your left knee touches the floor. Roll over till your right knee touches the floor. So just using the floor to massage the back muscles. You can roll towards your shoulders and up and down. When you're ready, come into lying down on your mat. Let your feet fall out to the side. Let your hands come out to the side. Lift the shoulders and lay the shoulders down onto the floor. Lift the hips and lay the hips down and then just relax the feet out to the side, let the hands fall open, eyes are closed. Allow yourself to disappear into your breath, into the sounds of nature. You've really earned this through that strong clasp. Now is the time to surrender, release, let go.
slowly starting to bring yourself back. Starting to become aware of your breath, aware of noises inside and outside of the room. Start to gently move fingers and toes, start to reconnect the mind, the body, the spirit. On your next inhalation, raise your arms up and over your head, and on the exhalation, have a real early morning stretch. Stretch through your fingers and your toes, bring yourself right the way back into the here and now. And then gently draw the knees into the chest, hug them in. Gently roll onto the right hand side. Take a moment there. And when you're ready, come into a comfortable seated position at the front of your mat. Hands are on the knees. If you need to sit up on your block or your cushion, that's okay. Shoulders are relaxed, tummy is relaxed. Just normal breath now. Taking the left hand to the heart and the right hand to the tummy. And just take a few moments for your gratitude practice today. What are you grateful for in this very moment? Grateful for your ability to get through the class, maybe. Reward yourself for that. Congratulate yourself. Just feel that gratitude throughout the whole body. Bring the hands to a prayer at the third eye, lower them down to the heart space, tip the chin forward. So look after the universe that you live in and the planet that you live on. Take care of all your family and friends. By all your family and friends, I mean all living creatures that live, walk and breathe upon this earth. Inhale the hands to the third eye. Namaste. Thank you very much. So I hope you really enjoyed that. Like I said, I had a little request for that. So really deep into the hips and, and the hamstrings and everything you're probably going to feel it tomorrow but there it is i hope you really enjoyed it so if you have any requests for any other videos that you'd like me to make about any subjects in yoga by all means just put them down there in the comments and i will uh, i will make a video if i uh, have the knowledge and the know how to do so i will certainly uh, give it my best shot also, thank you very much for all the subscriptions and all of the likes and the great comments. So, don't forget, click like, subscribe, there's a little bell in the corner if you want to know when I post any more videos. But, super grateful for all of your likes, all of your watches. So, another video coming soon. Stay safe, take it easy out there, namaste.